treatment, and other with standard methods. The patients were treated in our hospital for a period of uh, three uh, and a half years. It is known that chronic wounds are, uh, are a major growing problem uh, of the healthcare system, and uh, their, uh, their number is growing year by year. And call them a silent pandemic. Even more important uh, is that the significant impact uh, that they have on the quality of life of the patients themselves. For example, pain in patients with a wound, especially if they have critical limb ischemia, shortly CLI, causes stress, anxiety, social isolation, and complication uh, of wound healing, uh, prolong the time of hospitalization and chronic morbidity and mortality. The slides are not moving. Not moving. Yeah. Uh, sorry. No. No, we are still in the first slide. You are okay now? I'm okay now. It is fine, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Proceed. Yeah. Oh, thanks, God. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, how many patients uh, patients in the population have some form of uh, wound? You can see on this slide. Uh, that number uh, is not small and unfortunately tends to rise. Uh, it is estimated uh, that 4 million people in Europe live uh, with some type of wound and globally more than 40 million people. Also, uh, 27 to 50 percent of these patients require hospitalization, mostly due to the, the, the development of complications. Inadequate treatment of outpatient uh, wounds increases the number of hospitalization for 20 times. On the other hand, treatment in specialized outpatient clinics for chronic wounds reduces hospitalization for 24% after 30 days. In Croatia, the incidence is about 1.5% as in other developed countries. The average number of cases is about 62,000 uh, according to the data from for orientation, the cost of treating spinous ulcer monthly was about 300 euros. It is not difficult to estimate that based uh, on the previously mentioned, the monthly cost reaches of 270,000 euros. From a uh, comparison in Great Britain, Britain, the cost in 2018 was about 8 million pounds with an increase of 48% in a five year inter and interval. When we look at the distribution uh, of treatment costs in healthcare system, we can see that almost 50% 50, 50 of hospitalization uh, uh, is uh, uh, of budget is the cost of hospitalization. 30 to 35% are the cost of medical staff and 50 to 20% is cost of materials. So in the order to reduce the cost of treatments, we need to reduce the days of hospitalization for complication to a minimum by treating our patient proper and on time. 
Uh, is everything okay now for now about slides? Yes, you are fine. You are okay. Move on. Okay, thank you. Uh, let us uh, go uh, back to our study, which is a retrospective, as I said previously. The study included 97 patients with chronic wounds of different etiology treated in the period from uh, 2019 to June uh, 2022 at the University Hospital Center Zagreb. Vacumed IVT therapy was used in uh, 47 patients in addition to the standard wound treatment, while 50 patients uh, were included in the control group. Uh, in the control group were included only patients in uh, whom we uh, were able to personally collect the examinative variables from hospital data. All patients were locally treated according to the general uh, principles of chronic wound treatment by surgical debridement of necrotic or infected tissue, treatment of local or systemic infection with adequate wood dressing and revascularization for arterial ulcer, uh, if it is indicated, and compression therapy, which is mandatory for venous ulcer. The physiology uh, uh, of the intermittent vacuum therapy is the positive influence of changing cycles of negative, low or vacuum pressure, and normal positive or atmospheric pressure on the blood and lymphatic system of the body. Positive pressure leads to compression of uh, capillaries, increases, increases uh, uh, venous circulation, and uh, activate lymph flow, which result with elimination of waste products and CO2 from the body. Negative pressure delays capillaries, thus increasing the flow and oxygenation in periphery and muscles and by time enhance the capillarization by formation of small new vessel branches. Vacuum IVT has been proven effective uh, in vascular medicine, uh, rehabilitation, uh, orthopedics and traumatology, uh, traumatology, physical medicine, and also sports medicine. Uh, now you will see a short movie, how vacuum works. Oh, huh, okay. Vacumed applies alternating negative and positive pressure to the lower half of the body. The nomenclature is Intermittent Vacuum Therapy, or IVT for short. These pressure changes dilate and compress the blood and lymphatic vessels in the human body. The induced shear forces stimulate endothelial and neuronal tissue. This optimizes the blood circulation and the oxygen supply and can be measured immediately. The shear forces lead to the formation of new capillaries and collaterals. Damaged tissue is revascularized. In addition, the release of nitric oxide is stimulated. Vacumed is used in all stages of PAD. The movement-induced pain is significantly reduced with just a few hours, and the patient's quality of life is increased. This also prevents possible term damage. Studies also show, in the case of critical ischemia or diabetic foot syndrome, to vacuumed, visible measure granulocytes very early on. Thus, amputations can be avoided. The vacuumed treatment was originally developed for manned space missions, where it avoids orthostatic complications that rise in the weightlessness due to an inadequate baroflex. Vacumed is internationally patented. It is a certified medical product and made in Germany. How does Vacumed improve wound healing? As I said earlier, Vacumed, by promoting arterial and venous circulation, lymphatic flow, and most important, microcirculation, reduces the edema of the wound and extremities. The end result is a five times faster healing of the wound. On the Reduce A in the walking distance is in patients is increasing, which we uh, know leads to development of collateral blood vessels. This is extremely important in patients with arterial insufficiency, especially in patients with critical limb ischemia. 
the statistical analysis in the study involved continuous variables like uh, wound uh, size and age, which were evaluated by normality test and uh, analyzed by student T test or main Whitney U test. Categorical discrete variables like etiology, gender, mobility, pain, intense, uh, pain intensity, amputation, and healing were analyzed by uh, his square or Fisher's exact test. The first goal of this study was to evaluate effectiveness of, in, of intermittent vacuum therapy on chronic wound healing, depending uh, on etiology and compared to standard principles of chronic wound treatment. The second goal uh, was to confirm that vacuum diabetes increased the mob mobility of patients by reducing edema and pain, which is especially important in the treatment of vascular patient and patient with chronic wounds. The results, uh, the results of wound distribution according to etiology uh, by the group showed uh, that in, group, in the group of patients treated with vacuumet, there were more arterial ulcers versus 63% uh, versus, 20, uh, versus 24% in the uh, control group. Uh, while in the control group, diabetic and venous ulcers uh, ulcers uh, were more prevalent. It is also significant that among patients with arterial ulcer in the vacuumate group, 91% of them had CLI. When we look at the results of healing of the wound, uh, the all uh, types of wound in control group had equal healing, non healing rates of about 50%, while in the vacuumate group, all types of chronic wounds healed in the high percentage, mostly 70 to 80%. Also in the vacuum group was 20 to 30% uh, less of non-healing healed wounds, and all of them show reduction in size. I must, as I must mention that there was more patients who underwent some kind of revascularization, surgical, endovascular, or hybrid. So healing rate was significant according to p-value uh, p-value in the group of patients who conducted vacuum therapy 74 percent of them killed 26 didn't all wounds were reduced inside in the control group there was almost equal ratio of healed and non-healed wounds as, uh, as uh, for the heal time of ulcers 50 of uh, patient 50 of patients in the vacuum group healed within three months, uh, and all of them healed within a year, uh, which is not the case in, uh, as we can see in the control group. The average duration uh, of wound healing within uh, the control group was 90.2 months, and the vacuum group was 3.7 months, which confirmed that vacuum therapy acceler accelerates wound healing by more than five times. Overall, uh, overall, in the average treatment of ulcer before vacuum therapy lasted about 9.8 months, results shows that the duration of wound treatment in the vacuum group was about six months shorter than in the control group. On, er and on average, we applied 17 therapies per patient uh, for complete uh, healing, approximately three to five therapies per week for the duration of single therapy, 30 to 40 minutes, depending on the program. The results uh, of uh, pain tested with uh, a visually analog scale also show the st statistically significantly better results in the vacuum group. The median of pain of the visual uh, analog scale was eight before vacuum and three after therapy, while in no significant difference. As well as a significantly smaller number of amputations, both minor and uh, major, it is important to note that in the group with arterial and diabetic ulcers, part of them were included because of inadequate healing after minor uh, amputation. The degree of mobility was also statistically significant improved in the vacuum group, where 98% uh, of patients at the end of the therapy were mobile. 
Here is presented a photo documentation of one CLI patient with interdigital ulcer and dry gangrene of the tip of the toe, left toe, uh, after unsuccessful revascularization. Two months uh, after the cure of the interdigital ulcer was achieved, and since the patient was no longer in critical ischemia, an amputation of the two was performed. Full cure was uh, achieved 3.5 months after the therapy started. The second case uh, is a female patient, 92 years old, with a venous ulcer that uh, does not heal for an entire year. After a month, the ulcer was reduced by 50% in size, while in, uh, it completely healed in 2.5 months. Unfortunately, we don't uh, collect photo of healed wound. A year later, she had a stroke that rendered uh, uh, her, immo uh, her immobile, but the ulcer did not recur. What is essential uh, in the treatment of a chronic wound? First is to start with treatment immediately uh, and use all available tools and methods, including vacuum and IVT. I would like to state that with timely and proactive action and interdisciplinary approach with full patient and family cooperation, we can improve the quality of life of our patients, reduce disability, reduce the number of patients, and thus reduce the time and cost of treatment. So far, albeit it series, IVT has been proven as a highly effective method. In conclusion, patients, vacuum and IVT was associated uh, with uh, better wound uh, healing, better mobility, and least frequent amputation, both, ma uh, both major and minor. Vacuum and IVT acts uh, on all stages of wound healing, uh, regardless of chronic wound etiology. The reduction of pain uh, and secretion, uh, and secretion, uh, reduce the frequency of wound dressing, which improves the quality of life and mobility of patients, especially uh, with peripheral arterial disease. Vacuum and IVT is therefore a powerful tool in treating patients with chronic wound and with a wide spectrum of usage, uh, especially in vascular patients. And now, as a proof of the effectiveness of a vacuum and IVT therapy, not only in the treatment of wound, but also arterial insufficiency. We will uh, present a video of a patient with CLI whose wound uh, photographs were shown earlier in presentation. As you can see, dancing. There are still some unresolved questions such as whether these results will persist in multicentric study on a larger sample of patients, as well as how vacuum it combines with other modern wound treatment methods, which we plan to investigate in the future. And if you have any question, here is my email address for us con con respondents. Thank you, and I hope you will have a good day. Thank you so much. That's a very exciting uh, research. Uh, very exciting, Thank really. You.